Hi students, welcome back to that is your channel Physics by Imagination. Dear students, in this class we are going to understand about very important for your CET and NEET exam and definitely we can expect minimum 3 MCQs. Okay, 3 marks will come. So dear students, let us understand without wasting time. So the first one is dual nature of radiation and matter. Dear students, what is the meaning of dual nature of matter and radiation? So dual means two. Nature means they are going to show the properties. Radiation means that is light. Matter means you know anything which occupies space and has a mass that is called matter. So in the universe everything which is made up of matter so here matter and radiation are going to show two properties which properties that is wave property and particle property i mean when i throw the chalk piece towards you i am throwing chalk piece towards you then what happens the chalk piece is moving towards you then now chalk piece is acting like a particle nature and it is going to disturb the air medium that is a wave medium. So, what is the meaning of dual nature of light or matter? They show both particle property as well as wave property that is called dual nature of radiation and matter. Very simple. So, after understanding introduction part, let us understand that is emission and types of emission. So, what is the meaning of emission? Emission means coming outside. Okay. So, what is emission means? The process of coming electrons out of the metal surface is called emission. So, here we have different emissions. That is, in short form, photoelectric emission, thermoionic emission, electric field emission, secondary emission. So let us understand within four minutes, four definitions, four concept. So photoelectric emission. So what is the meaning of photo? Photo means light. When light will fall on the metal surface, if light falls on the metal surface, then light is made up of that is energy given by equation, quanta equation according to Max Planck quantum theory, H is equal to E is equal to H mu. Now, after absorption of energy, electrons will come to the surface of the atom. They begins to move. Begins to move. This is called photoelectric emission. Means the process of emission of electrons takes place. When light falls on the metal surface, a suitable frequency that is called photoelectric emission. After understanding this, very very important point, this electric current depends upon nature of the given material and that is amount of intensity of light which is going to fall on this metal surface. So you know the best conductors of electricity, copper and silver and aluminium. So nature also it plays very important role in the photoelectric effect. Second one is thermonic emission. Same thing. The process of emission of electrons will take place. By applying heat energy, we are going to heat the metal surface. Then what happens? Emission of electrons will take place. That is called thermonic electron emission or thermal emission of electron. It also depends upon nature of the material. But here, also depends upon how much amount of heat energy we are giving to this metal surface. Okay, students, very easy to understand. Now, electron emission. So, electric field emission or field emission. Same thing, the process of emission of electrons will take place when you supply the electric field. And account of electric field electrons will absorb energy 
and they start to move out of the metal surface that is called field emission here also it depends upon nature of the material and electric field last but not least secondary emission dear students secondary means what when i supply the electric field or heat energy or light it is going to liberate some electrons again so the process of liberation of electrons colliding of electrons means suppose these are electrons are there if i fall the electrons and that there will be there will be a collision process and according to this collision process electrons will come outside that is called secondary emission okay it depends upon number of electrons and nature of the material so after that very important concept and a fixed concept for cet and neat that is photoelectric effect so the students photo means light electric effect means current is going to be produced i mean when a suitable radiation or in a suitable frequency falls on the metal surface ejection of electrons will take place and produce a current it is called photoelectric effect means the process of emission of electrons from the metal surface and produces electric current that is called photoelectric effect dear students it was first explained by enrich erds in 1887 but further in detail and successfully explained by that is albert einstein so after understanding definition so here you know light is made up of photon means packets of energy if one photon will fall on the electron it takes one electron if 10 electrons are falling that is 10 photons are falling on the electrons 10 photons will take so this is the general explanation of photoelectric effect after that come to the point experimental setup and explanation about photoelectric effect very easy to understand consider this finger this is a high tension battery this is cathode anode a window which is made up of quartz window and this is nearly we are going to supply 1000 to 1000 voltages to 2000 voltages nearly so this is the experimental arrangement anode so here cathode it is made up of photosensitive material like zinc sulfide easy to emit the electrons and anode it is going to collect the electrons this is the major functions we could see in this experimental arrangement of photoelectric effect so let us just, let us understand very fast when light will fall on this cathode and before that we will be supplied i amount of voltages dear students before i incident light on this cathode there is no photoelectric current there is no photoelectric effect but as soon as if light will fall on the cathode then it is going to produce electric current then electrons will begin to move from cathode to anode in the form of invisible radiations we can't see them so then also we connected to micrometer and using this micrometer we can find that how much current which has produced in this experiment very simple so we have supplied voltages electric field generated here and due to when light falls on that emission of electrons will start uh, takes place and electrons will flow and constitute electric current and that measured by micrometer so this is about experimental arrangement of photoelectric effect remember zinc sulfide used as a photosensitive material okay so after understanding this it is further in detail explained by einstein 
सो दट इज कॉल्ड आइंस्टीन फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट सो बिफोर दैट वी शुड नो सम बेसिक टर्म्स लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड वेरी सोन आफ्टर वर्ड्स विल गो फॉर आइंस्टीन फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट ओके सो नाउ वी हर वी हैव इंसिडेंट द फ्रीक्वेंसी देन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हैव कम आउटसाइड दैट इज कॉल्ड वर्क फंक्शन सो वट इज फर्स्ट वन वर्क फंक्शन the students what is work function the minimum energy required to eject the electron from the metal surface is called work function means that is called given by equation work is equal to you know work is equal to energy energy is equal to that is according to max planck constant h mu so here we'll represent h mu not i'll tell you what is mu not frequency means the minimum frequency should be given to the metal surface you know the number of oscillation which is taking place in the photons that is called frequency the minimum frequency to be given to the metal surface just to able about to emit the electrons just electrons are coming out of the metal surface that is called threshold frequency and this is below value very important so after that we come to the point we understood work function and threshold frequency now we'll understand that threshold wavelength threshold wavelength the students you know that frequency and wavelength are always inversely proportional to each other so the maximum wavelength to be given to the metal surface above which photoelectric emission process is taking place that is called threshold wavelength threshold wavelength so we understood work function and what is threshold frequency what is threshold wavelength so next very important point that is we are going to discuss electron volt very very important to convert joules into electron volt or electron volt into joules for ct and net exam the students electron volt so here electron volt means a single charge a one coulomb of charge which has moved through one volt the energy gained by the electron at one voltage And we can tell that the energy absorbed or gained by the electron of potential difference one volt. Okay, so it becomes we know that the value of electric charge one point six into ten to the power of minus nineteen coulomb. This coulomb volt it becomes joules. So this is the value of one electron volt. Very important. so after understanding this let us come to very very important factors einstein's explanation of photoelectric effect so very important a definite question we can expect from this please concentrate on this the students same thing einstein told that when light will fall on this metal surface emission of electrons takes place okay but here this energy will be consumed in two ways one is that is just to the amount of work used to emit electron from surface of the body means first way is that just the energy will fall on the metal surface and it is made to electrons to come out of the metal surface next one it provides kinetic energy to the electrons to move and constitute photoelectric current means which gives rise to gives rise to kinetic energy 
so in this way very important they may ask you in the CET questions one is just to emit the electrons that is work function and it provides kinetic energy to the electrons now Einstein he told about this in detail by using these two points we know that law of conservation of energy energy neither be created nor be destroyed we can convert from one form to another form the students very important I am telling you now that is total energy is equal to work done plus kinetic energy so I am, re I am repeating once again the total energy is equal to work done plus kinetic energy here what is work done which is equivalent to work function so kinetic energy means electrons are going to be so here this energy is used as a kinetic energy of the electrons as well as work function so work function means h mu naught plus kinetic energy now dear students what happens here this kinetic energy is equal to you know this is energy means what we have given the frequency to the metal surface that is called energy that becomes h mu minus h mu naught very very important according to max planck quantum theory the energy of the proton is given by e is equal to h mu that what we are going to incident on the metal surface okay children now h if i take common mu minus mu naught this is einstein photoelectric equation okay so now here what is my point here kinetic energy is equal to half into mv square half into mv square is equal to h into mu means c by lambda c by lambda naught so please note down students very very important for ct these formulas okay so that is kinetic energy is equal to h into mu minus mu naught h is Planck's constant 6.64 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second so after understanding this he had made some experimental arrangement okay and also will define some terms he had made some laws we'll discuss very soon now so please note down this equation yes i hope you have noted down so now here what did he do so we'll understand very fast he had made some observations that is loss of photoelectric effect and experimental setups a result of photoelectric effect so what it uh, what he told the first one is that it is a instantaneous process what is the meaning of instantaneous process as soon as the light will energy means as soon as the light energy falls on the metal surface liberation of electrons will take place there is a no time gap that is called first one instantaneous process instantly electrons will emit the electrons when light will fall on the metal surface second one the minimum energy to be given to the metal surface to elect the to emit the electrons that is called work function i told you the minimum energy we should be given to eject the electron from the metal surface so second law is called work function so because already we have defined so later on very important point often they ask it in the ct and neat exams that is above threshold frequency means the minimum frequency should be given above that value that is number of photoelectrons number of photoelectrons are directly proportional to intensity of light very very important the number of photoelectrons okay which depends upon intensity of light but not frequency of light because intensity means what the amount of light energy per unit area per unit time if it is more then which is going to emit a large number of free electrons 
okay so third one that is kinetic energy of the electrons very important is directly proposed to proportional to frequency of light if frequency is more it is going to increase the kinetic energy of the electrons if frequency is less it is going to decrease kinetic energy of the electrons next so what is this fourth one the minimum voltage will be given at the anode then photo current becomes zero minimum voltage should be given then the photo current becomes zero that is called stopping potential stopping potential so stopping potential is minimum energy that is given by ev not means the minimum voltage will be given then electric photoelectric current becomes zero that is called stopping potential at the anode so after understanding this we will go for that is 4 5 experimental results of photoelectric effect within 4 minutes So, you know that equation E is equal to H into mu minus mu naught. So, here mu naught is threshold frequency. This is mu is what we have given the frequency, incident frequency. Now, the first case is that if mu is equal to mu naught, if incident frequency is equal to threshold frequency, means what I have given the frequency that is equal to electron emitting frequency then photoelectric current is just possible and kinetic energy of the electrons is 0 joules ok second case if mu is greater than mu naught see incident frequency is greater than threshold frequency photoelectric current is positive so then kinetic energy is positive and produces photoelectric effect if you go on incident more frequency here it is going to emit more amount of photoelectric current third one if mu naught is lesser than mu means here suppose example aluminum has 4.2 electron volt and i am going to give 3 electron volt is it possible photoelectric effect no so if this is threshold frequency is lesser than this one what incident frequency then kinetic energy is negative then photoelectric current is not possible so this is all and also he told that the number of photoelectrons depends upon intensity of radiation and the kinetic energy of the electrons depends upon frequency of radiation okay so in this class we have discussed about that is what is electric emission and types of electric emission and about photoelectric effect in detail i hope you understood students please support my channel share and subscribe thank you